kids that I know now, life would have been a whole lot simpler. So now I'm going to share them with y'all through the second generation. Um, ways to organize your vehicle to where it's easier for you to find things and stay, keep your vehicle clean, and hopefully everybody else will follow suit and help you keep it clean too, especially kids. You can teach them how to clean up their messes when they travel with you. Um, I keep my grandkids a lot um, for my, my children, and this is like their second vehicle to them. It's like a second home to them. I have everything in my vehicle that they will need uh, and it's required to have just like they do in their, their vehicle at their house. So Gmail's got them all fixed up. Uh, first, I'm going to start on the driver's side and just kind of show y'all some things that I have that just helps me to stay more clean and organized. And, and in case of emergencies, it's not just an organization thing. It's things to have on hand in case of emergencies, too. So in my um, door panel here, I have a um, umbrella. I always need an umbrella. Very compact. I have a little duster. And I'll tell you why. Hmm. Uh, because of dust. It gets really nasty in your vehicle and dusty, especially on your dashboard, um, especially on your dash. You know, when you're sitting at a drive through or you're sitting and you're waiting somewhere, maybe at a red light or something, you can just kind of clean a little bit and just get a little bit of dust off your dashboard. Oh, look at the pollen on my windshield right there. It, this is one reason why I'm coughing and sneezing right now. It's allergy season. So you can just kind of clean a little bit. I don't like dust. It messes with my allergies. So even in my vehicle, I have to kind of keep my vehicle clean. So there's my umbrella. There's my Swiffer. Oh, hello, Sprite. And then, oh, ladies, our walkway to our house from our driveway to our back door is a sodded area. And we don't have a walkway yet. Sod kind of gets um, really grassy, and it will stick to your shoes. So when I'm coming out of my house on Sunday mornings, and I'm all in my dress shoes, and the grass is wet, and it's rainy, and I have on some really nice shoes, and I really don't want to get my feet wet. And it's during the summer, and you're wearing open-toed shoes and things like that. Here's some little hacks. Shower caps on your feet, on your shoes. You kind of just slip it on there like this. Well, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. You get the gist. You slip it on your foot and you wear it. I learned this trick from um, seeing um, kids during prom. Um, these girls will have all these nice formal dresses and these nice high heel shoes, satin shoes. During the winter time, we have what's called a mistletoe ball, and they may have suede shoes or um, velvet. And if it's raining, you know what happens to velvet and suede when you get it wet. So these girls would tie trash bags around their shoes, especially if they were rental shoes. And you're renting your dress and your shoes from a rental place. You have to take care of them. So, um, these girls would tie garbage bags around their shoes. My daughter-in-law did when she was in high school. And I'm like, why in the world would you do that? So she explained to me. And I'm like, duh. So, I started doing that to protect some of my shoes because I have some suede open toe during the winter to go with some nice dresses. And so, you know, it's raining still in the winter time. So I'm protecting my feet and I'm protecting uh, my shoes. So garbage sacks, these little shower caps, when you, before you get in your vehicle, uh, take them off, put them in your, your little thing here. And then um, what, before you get out and it's still muddy or something like that, you've got to walk through something, slip them back on right quick. They're easy to clean and easy to keep up with. You can get a pack of them at the Dollar Tree, and you can just throw them away 
when you get done with them. But if they're reusable, reuse them. Uh, let's see what else I got down here. Of course, I keep wet ones. Uh, you know, drive throughs things like that. Uh, reaching too quickly to reach back in the back to give the girls one to wipe their hands down with. Good antibacterial uh, hand sanitizing wipes. Um, I can be a messy eater sometimes trying to go down the road and eat at the same time when we take little road trips. Yeah, those come in handy. So let's put all this back in here. Goes this way. I want to say I had something else in there, but I don't think I do. Okay, now I'm going to show y'all. I'm just going to go around the whole vehicle. Look at this little nifty thing right here, this little clothespin. It may not be fashionable, but let me tell y'all something. It's homemade and it works. It's a homemade air freshener, and I'll tell you what I do. I got one over here. Of course, that one looks a little cuter. It looks like a little caterpillar. I should put some little eyes on it. I might do that. Okay, what I do is I will take this clothespin... And in my console here, which I will get to this in a minute, I keep some essential oil. Look at there. Ta-da! I will take this little clothespin, and I will open up. I'll try to do this with one hand. It may not work. Hold on. I finally got it. I had to use my teeth. Sorry. <laughs> All right. And I will take, and I will put drops on this little clothespin, and then I will fix that one up up there, and then I will put it back where it goes. Now, it's hard to do things. How do y'all do this filming stuff with one hand? Whew, I gotta get used to this. Okay, then I put it right back up here. Ooh, when the air or the heat hits that, the heater, it's, mine is gardenia, I think it is. I love gardenia. Uh, and it smells up your vehicle, and oh no, this is jasmine. I love jasmine, and I love gardenia. Oh, it's already smelling beautiful in here. All right, so I have that. Now I have my sunshades up here on my nice little clip. I love my sunroof. Every vehicle I've ever had to have a sunroof, and I just love it. Um, let's see, right here, I love a kitty cat. Don't even think about it. <laughs> She'll probably jump in here with me in just a minute. Uh, right here, I have my phone holder. Um, I don't like texting and driving. I don't like having to fiddle with the phone, answering the phone. My uh, phone is hooked up to my vehicle, Bluetooth. Oh, that's my daughter-in-law. <laughs> I'll call you back in a minute, Chauncey. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry, she's going to kill me for that. Um, I will... Um, my, my phone is hooked up to my truck, Bluetooth. So if someone calls like she did, it will ring through my truck when my truck is on and cranked and it's connected. And I hit this little button up here and I can answer phone calls and be hands-free and it's safer because our state has hands-free laws now. So it's just safer, especially if I'm in traffic. I don't want to have to be fiddling with my phone. All right, right here is my cup holder and stuff. Here is my phone chargers. Um... <laughs> for everybody. Now, right here, I am proud of this. Right here in my console, I have when you flip up the lid, I have an emergency little packet here. These are the niftiest little things. We get these every time, twice a year from our dentist's office. They're transparent and a little pocket, and they will put your um, toothbrush in it and your floss and a little card with your toothpaste and a little card with your next appointment date on it. And I chose to fill out a paper with emergency contact information in case I'm ever in an accident and I'm by myself. Medications and their phone numbers, allergies, medications that I take. I have a blood clot and I am on blood thinners. So if I'm ever in an accident and I'm bleeding, uh, hello, they need to know that. So I have emergency information in here um, and medical conditions. What, you know, I have rheumatoid arthritis and I have a blood clot. So, you know, they need to know these things so they will know how to treat me if I'm ever in an accident. And it might have a phone lock on my phone so they may not be able to get in it to know who to call next of kin. I have my spouse, my oldest son, my daughter-in-law, my youngest son, my mother, my mother-in-law, my father, anybody 
for them I need to get a hold of. All right, right here in my console, I have a little trash can. I bought this at the Dollar Tree, and I put little, um, really, um, shopping bags, uh, Walmart sacks, things like that. They're really too big to go in here. These are little diaper ties, diaper bags that you put a dirty diaper in and you tie it up and throw it in the trash. They fit perfect in here. You can get a pack of them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I think I organized my truck through Dollar Tree. Let me tell you, all of the ideas and stuff that I went and spent all came from the Dollar Tree. Uh, and I take that back. When I get to the back in a minute, I'll show you. Everything didn't come from Dollar Tree. So I just flip this up and I throw wrappers in here and it just comes in handy. And I don't, when, when you're at a gas station or something, something you want to clean out your truck while you're pumping gas psh, there you go i mean not this don't throw this away just take your little trash bag out chunk it out take stuff out of your cup holders and stuff throw it out all right then i keep an extra glasses case in here because i switched from my glasses to my sunshades and um i need somewhere to put my glasses while i'm driving until i switch back and i don't have to dig it out of my purse then I've got this little organizer. I keep extra chargers in here, extra wires, USB, extra USB portals, uh, napkins, extra straws. I keep a little notebook um, just to jot things down. I am better if I see it on a piece of paper, um, directions to somewhere. Um, my husband travels and I take road trips sometimes if it's close enough that I can go see him and I'll write the directions down. So exits, uh, where the nearest gas station is between stops, between destinations. Y'all don't know how much that's helped me out so much because when I go on a trip, I like to fill up before I leave because you never know when you're going to get somewhere. And especially if it's a place you don't know and you get caught in between exits and you're getting low of gas, I will map out everything from home to there and from there to home on both sides. What exits the gas stations are, um, what exits I need to take. Ooh, especially if you're going through Memphis, honey, or any kind of major city, Nashville, anything. You better know what, what lane to get in before you get to your exit, because these people are not going to let you over sometimes. Okay, I got a little can or water bottle holder. Um, let's see. In this little case, I have a, a map of our state. Um, I don't really have one of the whole United States because now, I mean, I've got GPS, and then you've got Google Maps on your phone that you can use. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, if you do not keep your GPS updated in your vehicles, um, sometimes, <coughs> excuse me, sometimes you will, there might, if you're plugging in an address in here, that address may not be updated yet in your GPS. So either get your GPS updated at least every two or three years, or you just use Google Maps on your phone. Um, we wanted our son's truck to have GPS on it, but we didn't. It was, you know, just a used model. Um, we've never bought our children brand new vehicles. Uh-uh. I ain't doing that. Um, uh, uh, yeah, as rough as they are on their first vehicles, you know, learning how to drive and all such as this, there ain't no way I'd spend and get a brand new vehicle for my kids. So we've got them used vehicles. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with used vehicles. Uh, this, my, bought, my husband bought me this when it was used. The gas mileage, I mean, the mileage was fine and the price was right. And it has everything on it that I want, I need it. So, but my son now uses Google Maps and it has to stay updated and we got to get him one of these to go in his truck because I want him hands free too. He's a teenager. No texting and no talking on the phone while you're driving and stuff like that. We've always told him, told our kids, if you need to call us or you need to text, you pull over. Okay. In this little case, I have your necessities. Let me see if I can put it somewhere where I can open this up one handed. I did it. All right. I have chapstick. I have a little manicure kit. I have a glass cleaning kit. 
I have a little brush in here that's a little mirror brush compact with holes down. I have pain relievers in here and motion sickness. Both of our boys, bless their hearts, they get car sick. Our oldest son is 22 at this time. And let me tell y'all, he cannot sit in the back. He has to sit up front. Uh, this kid has puked on school buses going back and forth to football games, basketball games, even in my truck. Mom, you got to pull over. I'm getting sick. Okay. <coughs> they are very bad motion sickness, especially if mama's like um, going up and down a bunch of hills and um, uh, curves and stuff like that. I mean, I'm like Mario Andretti. Um, uh, Dale Earnhardt, I mean, I, I could be, I could have been a race car driver. Let me tell you, my kids told me I could have been a race car driver and asked me, how come you wasn't the way I drive? And bless their hearts, they get their driving from me. Anyway, uh, Chapsy, Emery Board, I have a couple of little granola bars in here for me, just in case I'm out somewhere and I haven't ate something and my sugar kind of drops just a little bit. I got a couple of little granola bars in here. Um glass cleaner for my glasses and my sunshades um that's about all that's in there let me see if i can close this back one handed oh it's a little easier said than done like i said how y'all do, do this that makes y'all's on video okay i'll get that later <laughs> okay then i have a couple of little microfiber wipes in here uh, for dusting too in this little nifty, uh, nifty contract, oh, I just turned over my pens and pencils. I have a little cup in here for pens and pencils. I have another little cup for ketchup, taco sauce. Hey, there's some taco sauce. My kids, oh, sh don't tell my kids. They love this stuff. Taco Bell taco sauce. Um, uh, my little, um, uh, what is that? Extra key to somebody's truck. I don't know. It's probably old. Uh, I have another little cup in here for remotes to the DVD player. A little remote to a little baby mirror that I have in here for the youngest. Of course, she's older now. I probably don't have to have it. This little thing right here, I get... Um, this is another one of those little nifty things you get at the dentist's office, but it's, it was, uh, um, I think this may be like an older one. Let's see if I can open this up. Hold on here and I'll open this up. Okay, I have a little bitty flashlight. I have some extra batteries for the DVD remote, things like that. I have another seatbelt clip. I have a tire gauge. Um... Tire, uh, no, it's not a tire gauge. My tire gauge thing may be back yonder. Let's see. Where's my tire gauge thing? I'll have to find it. I have a bungee cord, an extra trailer clip, because I have a ball uh, to hook up a trailer with on the back of my truck, and sometimes the boys are always losing the clips and the pins, so I have an extra one in my truck, so don't tell them. Um, I have... A little thing here. I bought it at the Dollar Tree. It's like, oh, God, it's got a bunch of things on it. It's got a little wrench, uh, direction recognition, saw blade, butterfly wrench, can opener, knife edge, screwdriver, bottle opener. You know, this little thing, a dollar. Uh, let's see. And I have a little, another little thing that has a little Army Swiss knife in here. My tire gauge is somewhere, y'all. It's probably in the back. In my, oh, it's in the back in my little toolbox in my emergency kit. Okay, so that is, um, and then I have my little bottle of essential oil. I'll fix all this back when I get done with this video. And I have this. Uh, this is like just a little bottle of hydrogen peroxide and some water. It's like a little cleaner. Uh, somebody gets a cut or a scrape or something, or you spill something on your clothes, like you went to the drive through you spilled something on your clothes, you get it on your blouse, you know, our, our, our mm, things get in the way when we're trying to eat and go down the road, ladies, you know what I'm talking about, and our chest becomes a napkin, so we spill things, so this is like spray some peroxide and water on it to try to help scrub the stain out, so I keep that up here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to the other side of my truck. Oh, and I have some, um, change in here. 
um, just some extra coins in here. Um, I need to start putting me some more coins in here going through the drive through I mean, the car wash. Okay, up here I have another one, my little Caterpillar one. This is like DVDs for the girls, the grandkids to watch in the DVD player back here. I have an extra set of sunshades for somebody to wear. Uh, let's see. Let me go around to the other side of the vehicle. <laughs> and I'll show you around there before I hit the back. Because I'm proud of the back. I, um, like I said, I have things in here for my grandkids. And they're going to have everything they need in here because Gmail thinks of everything. Gmail's always got plan B. So, here we are to the glove box. And this is where all your important stuff should be. I bought this little cover right here at the Dollar Tree. And um, I keep my driver's manual in here, the owner manual to my truck. Uh, it explains anything I need to know how to hook up something Bluetooth. Uh, my truck is a hybrid, so it runs off battery part of the time and engine part of the time. So, um, uh, GPS instructions. I, like I said, I got to have things wrote down for me. Our insurance information is in here. So, everything that I, and my, my vehicle registration, um, my, um, insurance papers all that is in here that's all i put in my glove compartment and yes it's kind of smushed so there you go smush uh, if i can get it back in there now uh don't hardly anybody open up my glove box because i don't hardly get stopped by the cops thank you very much either that or they just don't catch me hi my cop friends <laughs> don't tell them i said that either over here i have a husband and a son, older son, who tobacco products, yeah, well, yeah every country boy got to have a spit bottle, okay? And um, some more of those little shower caps over here. Now, over here on the dry, on the passenger side, oh, yeah, I got an ice scraper over here. You need one of them. It really needs to go on my driver's side, but I've got so much on my driver's side, I, um, we'll just have to get, get me another one. Now, on the, on the passenger side over here, I got a little kit over here for them. I've got some hand sanitizer. My hand sanitizer is missing on my side over there because right now it is 2020, the time I'm making this video, and it is during the coronavirus pandemic, and everybody's having to have um, hand sanitizer, Lysol, and all such as that. So my hand sanitizer is actually in my purse, and I will get it back out to my truck eventually. But I got extra in here, extra napkins, extra set of wet ones in here. I have some extra Ziploc bags, uh, some extra trash bags in here, Walmart sacks to put things in like um, dirty diapers, uh, food when I want to clean out my truck when I'm pumping gas. Um, the Ziploc bags can also, don't think this is gross, but if somebody is car sick in the truck, get a gallon size Ziploc bag, and if they think they have to throw up before you can find a place to pull over, it's like a good throw up bag. I'm serious. I got that tip from a nurse, especially with my boys being car sick like they are, and if I'm going down and I can't pull over quickly, and if they can reach one of these little baggies quickly, that is great. Uh, puking it, boys. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Now, this is the grandkids' side, the grandkids' area. I chose to buy my own car seats for my grandkids because I didn't want my kids to have to, when they bring them here, to, to leave the car seats all the time, take them out, put them back in, take them out, put them back in every time they brought the grandkids. Plus, whatever I buy for these grandkids right now is going to go through another generation when our youngest son and his wife has kids. So everything I buy right now is going to be passed down through more grandchildren. So I will have these for a while. These are the car seats that I love. They are the four-in-one convertible by Graco. Um, these, these go from newborn, infant, all the way up to well over 100 pounds. It will eventually be... The high back booster car seat, and then you can take the high back off of it and have the butt up portion 
uh, car seat. So it goes up to like 10 years old. So from infant up to 10 years old, yes, these things are pricey. But for it to last you 10 years, it's well worth the money. And we have two of them. So this is one grandkid sign. I bought these little car or backseat organizers. I don't really remember where I got them from. I think I may have bought them at Walmart. Or you can find them online at Amazon. Um, I got toys in here. I got a little extra little water bottle in case I ever run off and forget a sippy cup or something. She has little handheld little toys in here, um, little set of sunshades, things like that, little baby doll, stuffed animal. Um, <coughs> that's what's on this side of the truck. Let me go around to the other side and get the back seat over there. Because I don't want to show you the back yet. That's, that's my that's my thing. I don't want to show you the back yet. Now, granted, I also helped my daughter-in-law uh fix up her vehicle and she look let me tell y'all something these teenagers you couldn't get in her truck because of all the trash <laughs> so bad so i'm like uh-uh and then you know when when our first grandchild come along just this is it i'm like honey let me help you organize your truck let me show you some things you can do and she loves it now she's trying to stay organized with two kids uh, dirty diapers. You can't leave them in a truck, especially during the <laughs> especially during the summertime. You mm -mm, don't go there. Don't leave a don't accidentally leave a sippy cup full of milk in your truck. We've learned that. I don't do that. I clean out when I, when I go to town or something. I've had my grandkids in here with me. I don't leave things in the truck. Let me tell you. I clean my truck out and I take everything in the house. I don't leave my truck nasty. Okay, but that that's okay. I've helped her a lot, and she loves she loved getting out here organizing her truck. Let me tell you, she loves it. She said it's so much easier. You're welcome. Okay, now this is the other grandkid side, uh, and I got, I got more on here, but I need to get mo I need to get double because having these two a, a two year a one year apart, they're like you just might as well have twins. They go fight over everything. She had oh her little hat's supposed to go over yonder. I have some little sun hats in here for like when we go out pretty days. This one actually needs to go over there on her side. So I'm going to set that over there. There's a stuffed animal here, a baby doll, a little sun hat, sunshades, extra water bottle. Now, she can color and things like that and use pencils and stuff. So I have her fixed up over here. And I have her a little tray here that goes across her lap in her car seat. And... She can use this. I need to get another one. I also have a little neck pillow um, because she is upright. Now she is forward facing. Uh, I didn't have that problem when she was rear facing because she was reclined. So I need to get another neck pillow for her because her little neck kind of leans forward when she falls asleep. So I need to get another neck pillow and I need to get another tray. So that way, because they, oh, let me tell you something. These little girls fight over things. Now, yes, you do see a puppy pee pee pad in the seat. This is an excellent hack for potty training kids to where if they have an accident and don't tell you and you get it protects your car seat yes everything on this car seat is removable tells you how to remove it and it's washable however uh, we started using this to protect the car seats and I have extra of these in the back and they come in really handy for if they have an accident this catches it and they don't I'm saving my car seats one thing I failed to show over there right there I have one right here it is a sun visor for during the summertime when it gets so hot in here mine has got a heat alert on it um to let you know how hot it is in the truck and keep this sun visor down during the summertime. I don't have to worry about it during the winter time. All right, now we're gonna go to the, um, I keep my truck back. Ooh, my truck needs to be clean. Look at that mess back there. Um, I keep my truck maintenance. I keep it cleaned out so at least you can get in and out of it without stepping on something. But now I also like to keep it clean. Um, I'm gonna wash my truck, uh, clean the outside, clean the inside. I love doing that. My very first job was a uh, car 
car wash. Yes. I had the, the, my hair got so light in the summertime working at this car wash, and I was so dark with a tan, and it was summertime, and we loved it. We would get into water fights. It was awesome. So I learned <coughs> how to clean vehicles, and um, I'm fixing to wash mine. It's pretty out here. It's springtime. I love armor rolling my tires keeping everything all clean, and I love armor rolling, I love dashboard, and all such as that, keeping it good and clean, I love doing that, uh, and making it look nice, so it's time for that, and vacuuming it, I do my own, I do it right out here in my driveway, I get my shop back out, I got my armor roll, I got my car washing stuff, my microfiber cloths, my sponge stuff, I got all that, okay, now, the back, organized. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight passenger SUV, okay? However, I have something else in my back that takes up a lot of room, and plus we travel sometimes short distances, um, so I have one of my third row seats up out of the way so I can get things in and out of here. And I have one completely taken out for luggage and for things in the back. This is all girl related. Okay. Grandkid related. Not all of it. I have an emergency thing in here. So I will get to that in a minute. But see, I have my third row seat, this one out to do all this stuff with. And then I have that one folded up to fit luggage in. Uh, I'll show you what else goes in the back here in a minute. There's two blankets right there for sometimes during the summertime or the wintertime. If it gets just a little chilly in here on the girl's legs or something, and I need to cover them up with just a little blanket. Um, these are the niftiest things. Let me show y'all one of these. I found these on Amazon. It is a fold up high chair for when you go out into public and you don't want to take up a lot of space them dragging out high chairs for you in the aisles and all such as that it's got the five point harness straps to the seat down here down here straps to the seat and this part straps to the back of the seat so your kid cannot fall out of the seat if you're out in public this also helps we have a lot of family get-togethers uh, cookouts and things like that this helps when we go to their houses and um, they don't have high chairs and stuff and I take these inside I throw them in the chair and the kids have a place to sit in a high chair and they won't fall out and they can be like the big grown-ups so I have two of these these little things come in handy for when you go through the drive through and you're on a little road trip. You put their little hamburger or chicken nuggets in here and their french fries and their little drink box, and I have two of them. These come in handy. I will separate their food out, and we'll, we will put these back there with their um, uh, in their car seats with them. And they are old enough they know how to do it. Now, I always have a spare diaper bag. I have a big, I have my own diaper bags. I, I keep them full myself. Um, I will do a demo hack, um, maybe in another video of what all I put in my diaper bags and my stroller. And um, uh, this is some demo hacks that I got over here, but they're in my vehicle. But of course, in a diaper bag, you're going to have your diapers, your wipes, extra set of clothes, a few little toys. Uh, medicines, a fork and a spoon, a bib. Um, of course, you don't put your bottles and stuff in here until you have to go somewhere, you know. Um, I have extra little drink boxes. This is for both girls. I have little toys down in there. I have two sets of clothes, one for each girl, two bibs, matching bibs, um, pull-ups, diapers. Of course, one is in panties now, so we can we can just discard the pull-ups. But we're fixing to start potty training in the second one so I'm not going to take them out. Um, fork, spoon, stuff in here, wipes in here, baby powder, um, hand sanitizer over here, extra uh, little baggies in here to throw diapers away, um, and I think a little flannel, little 
kind of little blanket like this that I stuff down in here where if we're out somewhere and there's not a diaper changing station, I can either come back to the truck and change the diaper or I can lay down in the floor and change the diaper where they're laying on what I know is comfortable and a sanitized blanket from home, changing their diaper. Um, we went to a rodeo at a, at a place and everything was full. It was so packed. We couldn't hardly get into the bathroom. Um, but then even when we got in there, there wasn't a diaper changing table. So when we went into the stall, I mean, the line was so long, we didn't want to take a chance on having to come back or get out of line or anything. So in the stall with us, we got in the handicap stall really quick so we could all fit in there. And I had my little blanket. We laid it down. We changed diapers. And as soon as I got home, I took that baby out and I threw it in the washing machine the next day. Brought it back out here, put it back in my diaper bag. I keep a spare bag in my truck because sometimes my daughter-in-law will come to the house or something and then um, she might have to go somewhere and didn't bring her diaper bag with her. So I'll just let her borrow mine and she just goes in the back of my, back of my truck, gets it out and she always returns it. So I always have a spare diaper bag. Plus, I never know when I'm going to have the girls sometimes. So say like if I'm out in town and she's like, hey, you know, the kids want to come see you. The kids want to go with you here or here, here. You know, can they go with you? Or, Tima, oh, can I go with you? Okay, yes. So I <laughs> have my spare diaper bag where I'm not caught off guard. Don't ever leave your house with your babies and and do not have a diaper bag please do not you will be in a mess my daughter-in-law found that out one time she ran off she didn't think she's gonna be gone long she ran off without a diaper bag and she said oh my gosh i will never ever ever do that again so because she got caught with no sippy cup no diapers no wipes nothing she just thought she's gonna be in and out at the doctor's office and no ma'am that didn't happen that way okay i have two of them now something that is missing in my truck i have to put back out here it is a porta potty yes you heard that right a training potty to go in your vehicle when you're traveling with small children, if you can't pull over quick enough before they say, I gotta pee, uh, you better have one of those in your truck. Uh, it's easier to pull over with little boys than it is little girls, okay? So I need to put that back in my truck. But a porta potty for children. And get the kind that's got the removable little uh, seat in it to where you can remove it wash it out, sanitize it with some wipes, and then put it back in the little seat for the next time. I have a jug of water in here for the potty seat. Uh, she went through a stage one time where she was doing good on the toilet, but she wanted to use the little training potty seat that I had here in the truck. So I brought it inside and we finished potty training her with that. And now I gotta put it back in my truck. Um, but we're probably we're supposed to go round two with the second granddaughter, so I may keep it in the house for a while. So there you go. It will eventually get put back in my truck. But um, in here, I have um, extra thing of wipes, which I kind of don't think during the summertime uh, they need to be left in the truck because they can dry out really quick. So as long as I make sure I have plenty of wipes in my diaper bags, I might can use this spot for something else. Uh, I can always use this little container to hold snacks and things in, too. Uh, I repurpose things. I like to. My husband calls me a hoarder. And he's like, just throw it away, Tracy. I don't want to. I like to reuse things. Okay. Here's our little puppy pee-pee pads for potty training. Here's extra snacks. Um, yes, I just freshened these up to get them ready for spring when we get to open the states back up after this pandemic is over. Uh, I have snacks that they can eat. Uh, let's see, I need to put some more Fruit Loops in here and Cheerios and Goldfish. That's what's missing. I, oh, there's some Goldfish. I need some more Fruit Loops. Okay, I 
well, if I don't have any in the diaper bags, um, I will um, grab some out of here and throw in the diaper bag really quick. If you know, if we're going somewhere, if we're going into Walmart or we're going into the mall or something like that, and then I'll, I might just put them in these little snack cups for them. I have two of these. I have two cups out here. Uh, where's my second one? It's down in here somewhere. Here's an extra little blanket. Here's the extra little, uh, another little thing, like for cha diaper changing. Uh, I got some command hooks in here if I need them. Where's my other sippy cup? I'll find it. Okay. These are going to be stroller hacks. These go on the stroller. I got them engineered with a little baggy clip, a binder clip. Yes. You can clip these on the canopies of your stroller on a hot day and they have saved us a lot during the summertime with some trips yes so i'll show you the stroller in a minute and how where you can clip it on at their little canopy on their stroller um me and my mother actually took the girls somewhere one day by ourselves mommy was at school at college and oh my gosh it was like 90 something degrees and we had cold, wet rags that we kept on the girls at all times, sippy cups full of ice cold juice or water, and these fans run, and I run the batteries down just on one outing one day, keeping my girls cool. So I have two of those. I, I gotta pull this out some. So I have two of those. I have an emergency hygiene kit for me, okay, a personal kit. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I haven't hit menopause yet, so, you know, Mother Nature still comes to visit me, and every once in a while, it could be at a spur of the moment notice, and it could be an accident. So, I have an emergency kit for me in the truck in case I'm out in public, and yes, I, I've been caught out before and needed one, and I've had it here in my truck. So, there's extra feminine products in here, uh, wipes, throwaway bags, um, extra, you know what, believe it or not, ladies, extra set of underwear, and you can even maybe put maybe an extra set of pants or blue jeans in this bag for yourself. Do what you got to do, girls. Okay, I have jumper cable kit in here. I have a little toolbox kit in here. Look, y'all, all this stuff came from the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. I do. I love the Dollar Tree. This little thing right here, this little toolbox was a dollar. All this stuff in here was a dollar. Bungee cords. Um, this little clip right here that I use for the stroller to hang extra bags and stuff on. I'll get to that in a minute. I have screwdrivers. I have wrenches. I have, here's my tire pressure gauge. Uh, all that stuff in here for emergencies. Flashlight. Oh, come on. Flashlight. I have all that stuff in there. This little thing was a dollar. I fixed my youngest son up with one. He's in high school. I fixed him up with one, and he put it in his truck for emergencies. Okay? Then, I ha there's my jug of water for the porta potty There is a picnic blanket in here. Or if I get chilly or an emergency, you get stranded on the side of the road, and it's during the wintertime, and you need a blanket waiting on um, someone to get there. Uh, I have a first aid kit in here, homemade first aid kit. I have gauze bandages. I have uh, um, wipes. I have um, some spray. I have uh, alcohol wipes. I have bug spray. I have Neosporin antibiotic ointment. Uh, probably some more hand sanitizer in there. I have an ace bandage in case somebody gets really hurt. Um, Band-Aids, everything you need in a first aid kit. I think there may actually be a little pair of scissors in here, too. Um, the little mini surgical medical scissors, uh, bandages, gauze pads, antibacterial wipes. I have all the alcohol wipes. I have all that in here. So fix you up a little emergency kit, okay? Then I have, uh, what is this? These are glow sticks. This is another Gmail stroller hack. Glow sticks or glow bracelets to go on your children on their arms at dark 
where you're out somewhere and you need to keep up with your kid. You're walking in a dark parking lot somewhere or you're out at a fireworks show, a picnic, and it's dark outside. Glow sticks, bracelets on your kids. You can see them and keep up with them. Don't lose your grandkids. Uh, let's see. That's all I have in there. I have two blankets, actually. I have an Indian blanket in here and another one in case of emergencies. Now, something I failed to show up here, too. I got these little juice things for anybody in this truck. Bottle water. If somebody wants some, some to go... Um, during the summertime, unless you bring a cooler, it's hard to um, tote around, you know, sippy cups and keep them cool. So if I have like a thing of water, um, I just throw these in there. These are sugar-free. Woo! Uh, yeah, sugar-free for kids. Uh, oops. You just kind of put these in your bottled water and I have all for different kind of flavors. I have sunblock over here. I got this little organizer, not from Dollar Tree, but a thrift store actually. And it's actually supposed to be clipped on both consoles from there to the middle. But see, my middle seat does not have a headrest. So I kind of have to crunch it up on this one. Uh, this, this tub came from a thrift store. Um, that's the only two things that I have bought to organize my truck really like that that didn't come from the Dollar Tree. I have a baby mirror back here when she was rear-facing that um, goes on the back of the seat where she can see herself or I can see her. So, and I actually got this bright idea. See, we got a DVD player up there for the forward facing, but the little one, bless her heart, she wasn't forward facing yet. And she was, she couldn't see the TV. She couldn't see nothing. And she would just cry and cry and cry. She knew the noise was there and she wanted to see it, but she couldn't until now she's forward facing, so we're fine. But before she got forward facing, I came up with a hack. This little thing right here, or a command clip. I had a command hook up there, but during the summertime, it's a little harder for the command hooks in the summer to stick. But I had this, and I suctioned it on this light right here, and I, well, there I went again. I suctioned this on this light up here, and then pulled this out where it was like a little hook, and I got this little, this back right here has the strap. See that little hook right there? Uh-huh. I hooked her up, and the mirror was facing towards her. She was up there rear facing, and I had this up there hooked up to that mirror, and she was able to see in the mirror, see, in the mirror, the DVD, and she was happy. Yes, g -Mo fixed her up. All right, these are, this is a bag that I, this is a this is a stroller hack. I'll show you this in a minute. Okay, this is one of those little backpack strap on things to your kids. Yeah, our oldest one is getting to where she don't want to sit in the stroller a lot now, and I can understand. For one thing, she's long legged. For another thing, she likes to explore. She wants to get out. She wants to, you know, she's two, going on three. So this is a good way to keep up with her. It's got the little um leash thing where I can hook it to me. Y'all, these days you got to protect these babies and keep them close to you at all times, and I'm not taking any chances. So this is hers. I need to get another one for the other grandbaby. So I have two of everything now because they're just like twins. So that is my whole back seat, and we have Bluetooth headphones here. Um, I'm probably not going to get another set of those because this set came with the truck. So, yeah, I probably won't be buying another set. Um, I just let them have the TV, and I don't worry about listening to the radio. So I let them have it. Anything to keep them happy. Um, I keep some extra Febreze out here. This is actually a homemade Febreze. It's nothing but diluted fabric softener and some water. So this freshens up my truck. Uh, let's see what else I have back here. I have my ice cold pack for grocery shopping to keep cold things in, hot things in. Um, now, I've got to show y'all my pride and joy. Why, yes, that is a double stroller. <laughs> I call this the g Mobile. Um, the front one up there is infant, and here 
here's your forward one for the older child. Now, what's good about this, it's got two canopies. What's good about this stroller and what I love about it is when the oldest one gets, when, okay, the youngest one, this stroller can go all the way up to like seven years old, I think, okay? This one is infant. All right, when they outgrow this one and this one gets a little older, I'll show you what to do with this one in a minute. The younger one right here can go to up here. The older one, as they get bigger, the older one, there is, see right here, oh, right here, there is a big girl seat for when they get older. This comes completely off. You take this off. Oh, uh, uh, well, let me finish this, and I'll tell you in a minute, too. This, um, this whole thing, this comes off. You take these bars off right here, and you have a platform seat where the older child can sit right here on this padded seat. I can't get a good picture of that. Let me see. Let me see if you can see it right there. All right, see that little seat right there? Okay, now, if they don't want to sit down, there's like your skateboard kind of foot thing. They can stand on and ride and be braced in by this bar right here. So they, they got two options. If they get tired of standing right there, because you know an older kid, they don't like sitting in the stroller, but you want the safety of a stroller. So you, they can stand right there be braced in with this, they're not gonna fall out, and they can stand up and stroll and see everything, see where they're going, see above the little one. Or when they get tired of standing, they can sit right there and it buckles them in right there too. And so they gotta see or stand. Now, this right here, this gray coat model also goes with my infant carrier. Um, and it snaps down in here. And then when they outgrow the carrier, she can go strapped in the seat here. So this has worked fine. I have two canopies. Let me get them out here. There's one. And then this one comes out. Y'all, this stroller has saved me tremendously. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera. There's your double canopy right there during the summertime or during the rain. We have used these things on outings, and y'all, I can't say enough about this stroller. If you have more than one child, I don't like the side-by-side -side stroller because sometimes you can't get through some doorways with the side-by-side. -side. Now, one thing that I can say about it, I don't have enough space down here for a big backpack diaper bag and all the things that I need, especially during the winter, because I'll bring a couple of little extra blankets during the winter, but I'm gonna show y'all a little hack in a minute. So the first hack I'm gonna show you is the little fans. Let me get one out. During the summertime, we did this. We hooked these fans on these canopies. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. We hooked these fans. Oops. Okay, y'all, it's hard to do with one hand, but I think you get the gist. We hooked these fans on, I can't hardly do it with one hand. Oh, oh okay, y'all get the picture. We hooked these fans, anyway, on these canopies, and they hung down, and they blew right on the girls, and we kept wet right cold wet rice because the place that we went was a botanical garden and they had fountains so we made sure we washed our rags out kept them cold at all times and wet and then that fan blowing on them just kept them so cool during the summer um let's see let me show you this hack right here let me show y'all this hack now extra storage on a stroller find you a big bag this has been folded up so long i'm having trouble getting it unfolded i bought this at a thrift store let me put my camera here just a second and see if i can find a way to fix this hold on just a second pull this out all right we're gonna open this up now this is gonna it just fell over it y'all not my day. Okay, I'm going to put it right there so it won't fall over. 
Okay. This is an extra storage bag. See, it's wide, collapsible, so you can fold it. What I do is I will take this big clip right here. Well, there's actually one on the stroller. Let me take this over there and I'll show it to you. I have a big clip over here where I can hang this bag right here. So Y'all, one-handed again. I can't do this, but you get the picture. Hang it on this clip right here, and I have extra storage to put anything in. I need my purse, uh, jacket, um, any extra items that we may need, blankets that what don't fit down in the cargo department. Uh, everybody has a cup holder um, to be in their truck. Now, another good thing is I love this right here. This is a lock. If I have to go somewhere that I have to leave my stroller at, like at an amusement park or mall or somewhere where I can't take my stroller in, but I don't want it stolen either, I bought this at the Dollar Tree. It's a lock. It will tell you the combination number, and you hook it to something, and you lock it, and can't nobody steal it. So I like this option. Uh, let's see what else. Now, the thing about hanging extra bags on your stroller, if you do that, if nobody is sitting in the front, this thing wants to kind of flip backwards like this if it's got so much weight on the back side. So my suggestion for that is, and I saw some other moms do it, you know those little leg weights that goes around your legs? Put them around your wheels right here on the bar to weight down the front of the stroller so it won't flip backwards if you've got too much weight on the back end back there. So this is my car organization. Oh, well, it is organized right now. I got to put it all back together. This is my car organization um, slash GMO hacks for road trips for little ones. Yeah. That's what we'll name this one. Yeah, GMO Hacks and Car Organization. That's what we'll name this video. I know it's been a long video. Thank y'all for hanging in there with me. I hope some of these ideas has come in handy for you. I know I wanted to share them. Like I said, with my daughter-in-law, she's organized her vehicle. She loves it now. Other moms that has kids that need some organization to their life. Now, the thing about it is I've seen a lot of moms... Um, like when my kids, their vehicles are just trashed because of the kids, you know, throwing stuff down in the floor, spilling stuff. Yeah, you may have to set some limits as to what you allow in your vehicle. Um, safety proof, spill proof cups. Um, make sure the kid is old enough to handle food without assistance where they don't spill it all on your carpets and stuff. Invest in you some rubber mats to cover your carpets. Um... Set a designated little trash can, even in the back, for kids that's going to be riding in the back of the vehicle. They're old enough to learn how to throw their trash in a trash can instead of down in your floorboard. Yeah, they are. You can teach them. Uh, teach them how to keep your vehicle clean. When everybody gets out of the vehicle, like coming home from church or going out to eat or a day out, have everybody grab something trash-wise or clean-up-wise. Take it in the house when you go. Then put it all away. Um, uh, if you don't have the space in your vehicle, in your in your console for that little bitty trash can, some women are putting little cereal storage containers that you can get at Walmart. You know that you pour the bags of cereal over into it and it's got the little spout too. Still looks kind of like that, but it's a cereal container. They've been putting trash cans right here and Velcroing them to the your um, whatever that is and uh, holding your um, tr trash in it right there. Uh, I personally got to have my leg room down here, my floorboard. Uh, some other things I've seen moms do is back here in the back, if you don't have a big stroller like the G-Mom Mobile to put back in your vehicle when you get done, you can buy like little cubby holes like this to go in the back of your vehicle to organize things and put things in. A bin for the kids, a bin for your emergency kit and first aid kit.
that are being like for footballs, basketballs, your kids' sports equipment, uh, anything. You can organize your groceries when you go to the grocery store to hold your groceries in so they don't slide around all in the back of your vehicle. So come up with some organization hacks. There is all kinds of organization hacks on the uh, YouTube. That's where I got a lot of mine. So I just wanted to do my own video. Oh, I forgot a spot. Back here, there is an extra power source to plug in something like my shop vac. Right back here. Oh, look how cool. Right back here. <clears throat> I have a little dustpan and a little broom to uh, uh maybe kind of get out some of that mess right there. Y'all, I got to clean my truck, but it helps clean up messes. I have an extra tarp back here just in case. I have extra bungee cords. Um, and sometimes I'm missing, hmm, I think my boys has been in my truck. I'm missing a tie-down strap for when we hook up our trailer to my truck and the lawnmower or the four-wheeler, and we take them to have a maintenance, and we have to tie down our vehicles, an industrial-type tie-down for the trailer. So that's missing. I think they've been in my truck. That's missing. So I'll need to find that and put it back in my truck. But I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. Like I said, oh my gosh, it's an hour long. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a talker. I hope this has helped y'all. I hope y'all can use some of these tips and tricks. You know, I, I hope it serves you well. So until the next video, I'll see y'all. Um, just stay safe through this through, through this pandemic, y'all. I, I never thought we'd go through something like this, but that's okay. We're going to make it. Just keep your sanity. Stay busy. Spend time with family and friends. Love on them all you can. Well, you know, the well, don't, don't, yeah. The, the 10 rule, 10 person rule thing. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Um, stay close to your loved ones. Check on the older ones. To keep the little ones safe. Y'all just, that's enough about that. Y'all just, uh, I hope y'all use some of these tips and tricks, and I hope they help y'all. So y'all stay safe, and God bless.